flow. Here's round two. Five molds, just smaller ones. That should be most of the parts except for the extra discs for the indexing discs. I gotta get a hold of one guy, see what he needed to cast out, so as soon as I get here from him, I can actually put his order in too, get his stuff cast while I'm casting the discs. Alright, let's get to pouring. We got a bunch of aluminum parts that we need to do up, redos that I messed up before, and ones that I couldn't do before. And one brass one for the worm gear. And it's starting to, to warm up a little bit, so we'll see how it goes. Just waiting for the bottom to catch on fire and we'll get to cooking.
Okay, I just took the fuel line out of the cooking oil. It's a little hot. All of them are done. I'll knock out the molds real quick and come back. Okay. parts look like they came out flawless this time. Not really any flashing. It look good. Looks like some nice clean castings. Much better. Now I got the sprue on it, which is supposed to be that way. 
I didn't put it on there before. A little bit of flashing, but not bad. have to cut the slot in it but I know where that goes. The rest of it looks good. This one should be another sector arm like you just saw and one of the indexing discs. Everything turned out nice. And the only last one I have is the brass worm gear blank, which I just poured that thing, so it's pretty hot still. And lots of steam coming off this still. So, pretty much every casting today is a success. There's no real flashing on the disc or anything. I know there's a little bit here and over here, but I did that on purpose because there's no good way to get your fingernails underneath the thing to lift it out. And I didn't want to have a screw hole in the back of the patterns. So each one will have a little flashing on each end for... Yeah. Huh. Sprue just broke off. Okay, the only ones left is the brass one, so we'll let this cool down for a few and get the brass one out. Okay, now for the one I'm waiting for. It trashed my clips, it actually melted half of them. So I gotta replace those. I'll have to sift through my sand to get all the chunks out.
Why's that thing heavy? I got a little bit of flashing, which I knew was going to happen because I broke the mold when I was trying to take it out. But we got it. It looks good. It looks solid and very heavy. So I'm going to toss this. Um, oh. And this ground is screaming where it hit. I gotta do two more of these discs and that's pretty much it for every part and the only one that or the only other parts will be the ones that I screw up when I'm machining which I'm trying not to do that so two more of those next time and we'll be good to go okay these are all the castings turned out quite nice. All the holes are where they're supposed to be and yeah. Okay, I'm gonna call it. Thanks for watching and see ya. Now to start machining.